Facts. Because they got options. And they know they got options. <laughs> right. And there it is. There it is. And that part. <laughs> and that part. Okay. I know my worth. I right. know the value of my dollar Exactly. Now. So let me take my dollar somewhere else. Right. Because you don't appreciate it. And once again, they have that right. And I don't blame them. Because trust me, I take my dollar somewhere else. Baby, quick. You don't appreciate me? I'm out. Bye. I'm out. Because I work really hard for my money. Exactly. <laughs> I work really hard for my clients. I work really hard for my money. And I don't want to waste my money on someone who is not going to appreciate it. This dollar, I work hard for this dollar. Baby, what? I work hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a character, bro. I'm <laughs> just saying. So hard for the money. Look at that. Okay. Last question. I'm sorry. Look at it. She didn't tell me I couldn't act the fool on the podcast. Okay. Listen, this is the Bring More Productions podcast. It's the safe place for the black opinion. <laughs> you good. This is what we do. We consistent with acting up. Uh, up. Okay. Okay, so last question. All right. For, um, using your expertise again. Yes, ma'am. Why do you think the brands Fashion Nova and Amazon are killing the game right now? Ooh. Because they got everything everybody wants. Mm. <laughs> Especially Amazon. Amazon got groceries, movies. They got the beauty book. Listen, they I got just got fashion. some stuff from Amazon today. Don't play. Look, what? Amazon saves me time. You know, and, and let me, let me, let me, let me confess. <laughs> I was slow to the comment. I was an anti-Amazon person. I was like, I saw people order. I was like, just go to Walmart. Ordering stuff on Amazon, like I was at a, a, a political function and I was telling this one lady about the hair products that I use in my natural hair. Mm -hmm. This is not my hair, y'all. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all can't see me, but I'm wearing a really nice it's really hair nice. piece right now. Thank you. I so <laughs> girl, um, what lace? Okay, okay. Um, well, we digress, but anyway. <laughs> um, so yes, I was telling about the hair products that I use in my hair, and because we had similar textures. We both kind of got that, that engine and that, you know, Caucasian in our family. So our hair texture, you know, a lot of actual black products are really too heavy for my hair. Oh. It's, it's so, yeah, it just don't work right. So I have to use some of the, white, you know, some like of the Tresemme. Caucasian products. Yeah, and it was a Neutrogena, I think. Neutrogena, Nutris, one of the brands. Oh, that, uh, Fruities. Fruit, is it Fruities? Fruities. I, I have to go. I have to look. See, I have to look at my app. I use that leave in conditioner. But they have this really good gel. Mm. Oh, my God. That is, when I say perfect for my hair in the summertime when I wear my natural curls, that is the only thing that, it, it's the only thing that works in this white product. So, I was telling her about it. And so, she literally opened up her phone and went right to Amazon. She said, is this it? And I was like, yeah. Boop. Ordered. It'll be tomorrow. I was like, what is you doing? <laughs> what, what is that? Oh, <laughs> like, and all my friends, oh, I just ordered off of Amazon. I just ordered off. And I was like, what? So I don't know how, just one day I was looking for something that had to be on Amazon, and then it came the next day, and I've been hooked ever since. So, yeah, it's so sad. So I just got, like, so I had to order a fascinator and some gloves, some other stuff I'm going this gala Saturday. Shout out to J.L. Turner. But <laughs> on Saturday, and it's a, like a 1940s USO theme or whatever. So I had to, you know, order some things and just came to that. I posted that already. But, yeah, I was like, man, just... Went on the quick. Yeah, and no running around, no going to Party City, no, you know, one and done. Wow. Doop, 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 chip, click, click, click. The convenience. Yes. Because time, you know, time is, time is a commodity that people are understanding is precious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this day in life of having to do so much stuff with so little time, you know, any way that you could use convenience and technology to your advantage, I feel like we're doing that. Right. Yeah. I feel like you should. Absolutely. Yeah. And how you feel about Fashion Nova? So, I like Fashion Nova. Um, I, I've only b bought a few things off of there. Um, I can't say that I, you know, I don't really go... And a lot of it's too, because like a lot, once again, I'm plus size. So a lot of their really cute plus size fashion, this stuff, it's like shoe deal. This stuff be gone. It be gone. Be gone yeah. You know, the size I need to order it in, it be gone. So, <laughs> you know, and plus if you saw my closet, I don't need any more clothes. <laughs> How do you feel so, about their marketing though? I think their marketing is ingenious. Yeah. And not to be, not to be funny, I actually, 
um, I kind of took inspiration. That was one of the reasons why I decided to start the Shoe Deal Ambassador Program. Um, I took inspiration because they take real life people wearing their stuff. Of course, I know that they have models, but a lot of the people on their pages is real life people, mm-hmm. and they're re you know reposting or re you know, and they have their own little set of ambassadors. They send them stuff. They wear, and it's and it's different body shapes, different body styles, different ethnicities. You know what I mean? And so, if you can see yourself in their brand then you would want to buy their brand. Yes. It's just that simple. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. And the fact that you even said the brand ambassador, and do they, let's let's clear this out. Do they send (laughs) free merchandise to these brand ambassadors for them to post on social media? Who, Fashion Nova or Shoe Deal? Fashion Nova. I don't know. I I don't know. Um, I can't say. I, I don't know their ins and outs of their ambassador program so I can't speak on it I only speak on what you do does right. <laughs> so do you guys <laughs> we do offer free merchandise in lieu of there are some stipulations in order for you to get your your free mer- merchandise but yes we do we, we give gift cards monthly to our ambassadors so that they can go and purchase our product and then in turn we ask them to do certain things monthly okay yes. So that was my whole speech mm-hmm. because I have met designers mm-hmm. that refuse to give up any free merchandise for these so-called influencers that they want to promote their That's brand. That's stupid. I need some clappers. That's Hold stupid. Yo, where my phone? Oh, I was going to say, I actually have the, I the, tell I actually these, have the clap. I actually have the I tell it, these people I mean, all the time. The, but look, that's a designer that doesn't want to eat. Because I first inspiration that comes to my mind is Michelle Obama. Mm. When she, the very first inauguration, she was wearing an unknown designer that blew up. She waited after she wore his dress. Right. Do you think she had to pay for it? No. No. No, it's called having out. foresight. So if you if you don't have enough foresight, if you can afford to let someone borrow or even have an item that you want them to promote, then you don't need to be in that business. Amen. You need to go back to the drawing board. Amen. Because even my my business is service based. Right. And right. so is mine. Right. So even but I, I offer free services. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. and I, and I do trade in a minute. Exactly. Trade and barter is not dead. Let me, oh. Let me say, hashtag trade and barter oh. is not dead. Preach. Let me say one more again for the people in the camera. Preach. Trade and barter <laughs> is not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. At all. It's not dead. No. No. It's not. You got something I want. I got something you want. Let's figure this out. Yeah. Even if it's partial monetary value, trade and barter is not dead. It's not dead at all. It's still the number one currency. And and honestly, watching all these shows, Walking Dead, The Purge, and all these other shows, trade and barter is still going to be the currency when it's all said and done. When all this technology kills out, Trade and barter, and all the money is gone, all the coins are not existing. Trade and barter will still be the number one way to do business. Period. And that's how it started. Right. Oh, you got some apples? I got some oranges. Can I get five of your apples? You can right. have some, five of my oranges. Right. Sure. Trade and barter is still, still alive. Still Sure. Current. I tell people all the time, if it was up to me, we'd be trading apples and oranges. Yes. It wouldn't be no, no, no yes. kind of money. Yeah. Because... Y'all don't know how to act. It gets to y'all brain and y'all forget. But then, once again, you know, everybody, but you, you once again, you have to vet people because everybody don't know how to trade and barter. No, no, no. <laughs> First of all, it has to be equivalent.